It's Christy Short here, your Southwest Regional Communications Manager with the Cotton Board. Our thoughts and prayers are with those producers in the eye of the hurricane and the tropical storms this week. Our thoughts go out to you guys. I'm hoping that the storms are not too bad and your crops, your homes, and your families fare well and stay safe. This week, I'm checking in with Stuart and Joe Posey, producers in Roby, Texas. It's 100 degrees right now, and it's been like this all summer long. Super hot, and it's been droughty. Uh, the dry land in our county is probably going to make a third, or probably be harvested a third of uh, what we usually harvest. And the whole county probably only harvests a third of the crop this year. Um, the irrigated looks decent, starting to open up. I think on some fields we're probably a week away to cutting the water off. I think some of it will be fair to average on the irrigated. Uh, the dry land's looking looking pretty weak compared to most years. Uh, just depends how big the bowls are going to be for us down here. But, uh, it's really starting to it's loading up pretty good needs to hold it on this was all flowered out last week so you can see that it's maturing out pretty quick especially in this heat and tomorrow's supposed to be 107 this is august the 27th hi there it's stacy gorman director of communications for the cotton board i'm here in tiller arkansas to get this week's mid-south crop update all right this this particular field is one of our cotton fields that we planted into a, a standing cereal rye cover crop. Uh, we have, I think this year, we've got about 500 acres of cotton that we planted into cover crop. Uh, we've been using just a cereal rye grass cover. Uh, I, the, the weather this year has been, I think, conducive to cotton growing conditions. The, we haven't really had an exceptionally hot summer. We've had I think really below average temperatures most of the summer. We've got some better looking cotton than this. This is kind of on the edge of the field, but I think last year we had a really good yield and, and this year I, I, I'm optimistic that our crop is at this stage as good as what we had last year. Of course, there's a long time between now and actually getting it harvested, but uh, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic about our crop, our, our, our yield potential that we have. Hi, this is Shelly Heinrich, the Southern Plains Regional Communications Manager for the Cotton Board, here to bring you this week's crop update. As you can see, as the sun goes down in West Texas, the skies are starting to get a smear of pink and yellow across them. This is the smoke from the California wildfires. Here to bring you this week's crop update is Jeremy Brown, a West Texas producer in La Mesa, Texas. Hi, my name is Jeremy Brown, and I'm glad to be able to give you a crop update here from West Texas. Uh, I farm in Dawson County, uh, where we grow predominantly cotton. Uh, cotton is our staple crop here. Uh, however, this year has been another year. It's actually three years in a row now where we just had abnormally hot, dry growing conditions. When we needed those timely rains to grow a good crop, we just really haven't received them. Uh, especially here in Dawson County, where most of our acres are dry land, I would probably say 90% of those acres don't have any crop on them this year at all. There's no cotton to speak of. Uh, this farm that we're standing in right now is one of my irrigated farms. You know, it's okay, uh, you know, for, for not having much rain and, and having limited irrigation. You know, I'm hoping this farm will make about two, two and a half bales an acre. Uh, you know, we'll see. This is, uh, unfortunate. Hopefully this drought's going to break soon and uh, things will pick back up. But, you know, that's, I wish I had better things to share uh, from the crop conditions. But, you know, I still love what I do. I love growing cotton. It's what we do best here in West Texas. So hopefully you're watching this and it'll encourage you to grow out and support your American cotton farmer because we need your support. Uh, if you do like this video and you want to follow us, uh, we do have a Facebook page, Broadview Agriculture. Uh, that's the name of my business that we post, you know, things that we're doing here on our farm. Uh, we're passionate about taking care of the soil and, and soil health. And so we're trying to do different things to, to regenerate our land and, and make sure that we're providing the safe food and fiber source for the American people. Y'all have a wonderful harvest and hopefully uh, the price will continue to go up and uh, we'll have a wonderful crop. Thank you. This is Monty Bain with the Cotton Board and I'm here on the Reisner farm over around Alpine, Alabama and uh, I'm gonna get you a crop update. Hey everybody, this is Scott Pruitt located in East Central Alabama. 
cotton crop uh, here was planted about May the 16th. It's looking good. It's got a lot of bowls to finish filling out. Insect pressure has been relatively low. Had some timely rains here in the last seven days. Hadn't had to run a pivot in about 10 days. May have to run it one more time before everything's said and done. Dry land and irrigated mostly around here looks pretty good. May not be the best we ever had, but surely it'd be better than what we had last year. Like I said, we got a little ways to go, but we hope to get it there. Y'all have a good one.